Okay, to start off with, you're going to take your first piece of fabric and you're just going to take your Christmas decoration foamy things and a few needles, if you can see that, and you're just going to pin those in place. And it doesn't have to be the same way I'm doing it, this is just my personal preference, but I'm just going to pin all my trees on the front, roughly even and a little higher from the bottom, so that when it's sitting up in full, they look almost central. Like that. At first I thought that would fit four uh, Christmas trees along the front, right next to each other, but my fabric wasn't quite long enough for that, so I ended up moving on to just having three equally spaced apart, uh, which you'll see later on. Now if you are super gluing these together, you don't have to do this step until last, as you can obviously super glue the pieces of fabric together as well, but I'm going to go old fashioned and just sew mine together as I want a kind of patchwork quilt sort of look on my trees. So I've just pinned those two together and I've made sure that they're touching at the bottom as I thought I would fit four in, like that. And I was going to just do the same to the other two trees along the front. So that's what I'm about to do right now. You can see I've pinned those in place equally spaced apart and I'm just now going to sew them all on to my fabric in a sort of loop patchwork quilt style. I've just taken some red thread and a needle if you can make that out and what I'm going to do is just sew along the edges of my trees in a sort of patchwork quilt style and I'll be right back. So I've now completed one tree and this is the sort of effect I'm going for and I'm just going to do the exact same thing on the other tree which I've already started and to get this effect all I've done is just looped my thread. So I'm just going to try to grab it at the best advantage point which can be kind of tricky as the trees are made of foam and don't bend too easily. But I'm just going to take a hold of the fabric to make sure it's nice and taut, push it down into the fabric and back up through the foam. And I'm making sure not to pull it too tight as I don't want to rip my foam. And of course you've got to be a little bit careful as the thread does catch on the points. And again I'm just going to do the exact same thing all the way around my tree and it gives me that rustic sort of patchwork quilt effect that I'm going for, just like this. It doesn't have to be perfect or even as I do want it to look kind of rustic. Okay, so now I've got my three trees sewn on just the exact same way I showed you guys and I've got them evenly spaced apart. So I'm just going to flip that over and I'm just going to pop my other piece of fabric underneath it facing up. So that both sides, both colourful sides are on the inside now. If you are gluing these together, you don't have to do this. You just have to tuck in the sides. But like I said, I'm going to be sewing mine. So I'm just going to pin this all into place once I've made sure it's kind of even. Now, my fabric isn't completely the same. My two bits of fabric aren't exactly um, even. So I'm going to just try and get them as even as I can just to make it a little easier on me. And once I've done that, I'm just going to grab some pins and pin right around the edges. Like this. So... Just grabbing my pins now. It doesn't have to be these kind of pins. You can get um, sort of safety pins if you're going to be doing this on your knee. That might be a little bit easier. And like I said, I'm just going to pop that into my fabric all the way around and just leaving a little space at the bottom so that I can then turn it back inside out. <clears throat> so I'm going to stop about here and here, leaving a little bit. So that's me, got my fabric all pinned together and I'm going to leave this little gap here and that's what's going to help me turn it back inside out and fill it with my filler, um, pillow foam stuff and yeah, so I'm just going to go ahead and sew all around the parts that have been pinned. So I've now sewn all the way around my fabric leaving that little hole in the middle and I'm just going to pull my fabric through it and put it right way around. Just being careful that I don't rip the foam on the inside, um, as foam does rip quite easily. This is also the hole that I'll be using to put my filler into, and then I will seal that later on. I'm also going to just push into all my corners, making sure that they're pushed out properly, as it would be a lot easier to do this now than later when I'm actually filling it. And it should look something like this. And obviously it doesn't have to be Christmas related, but mine is. 
so you could put any pattern you want on these and I'm just going to take my pillow now which is what I'll be using to stuff my throw pillow this is just an old pillow that I had lying around so I'm just going to take the, the filling that's already inside that and I'm going to rip it apart as it is just one big blocked piece of filler so I'm going to tear into it and stuff it into the pillow so that's my pillow now completely stuffed and I'm just going to close the top now so I'm just going to pinch it in place and I'm just going to take my needle and thread and I'm just going to loop it closed using the same stitch work I used on my trees. So I'm just pushing the needle through, bringing it back over and pushing it back through. And I'm pinching it quite close to my stitches so that I get it completely in line and straight and tight. And I'm making it quite small stitches so that they're barely noticeable from the outside. And I'm just going to keep working my way along until it's completely closed. So here is my finished throw pillow and I hope you guys like it. If you do give this a go let me know in the comments and be sure to tag me in pictures on Instagram and to add me on Snapchat and I'll hopefully see you next time for more Christmas DIY. Bye!